Hey everybody. So I was going to make a little video to, to talk about what it takes to be spiritual. Um, I was talking with Sally there, walking home from a lovely outing in nature there. And I was just talking, uh, just many people think that they need to like oil their chain, like use it or lose it. As if like they have to like um, do stuff to be spiritual, like you have to... I have to maintain my spiritual self by meditating at least 20 minutes a day or one hour or two hours or I must pray a schedule of like 20 minutes or I have to chant Om Namah Shivaya for a certain period of time every day otherwise you'll lose it and you'll like go crazy or you won't be considered spiritual to yourself or you let yourself down or Hello little Bella! <laughs> so uh <laughs> for me I'm very casual in my life like I don't I, don't, I live a meditative moments I don't practice any meditation in particular I don't need to and I'm very satisfied and happy enough and fulfilled enough and for me the number one the number two things in life is number one or and two are love and gratitude and you can call you can link you can say love and heart or you can say jo uh, gratitude and appreciation They're like and the other thing I live for is joy and that could also be called the joy and excitement and exhilaration passion uh, enthusiasm eagerness uh, creativity so there are the, the three things I live for like joy and all of those things excitement etc and then heart and love and compassion all of those things related to your heart deep powerful energy of creation those two things are and then also um, what was the other one? So like joy and excitement, creativity. So I just wanted to say you don't need to put pressure on yourself or think you have to do things. But if some things work for you, then go ahead. Like I used to meditate for half an hour, maybe once or twice a day in the past. I even practiced meditating three times a day at one stage, just very briefly. Um, I gave up meditation years ago. I practiced mindful living and mindfulness, being conscious and present at the moment, putting your attention there, being present, like intensifying your presence of looking at somebody when they're talking or listening deeper, being more present, you know, maybe your voice changes, your the way you're living and, and perceiving and expressing changes. You're more there, deeper in the moment, for example. So getting a little bit out of your head space and a little bit more into your heart space and your your surrounding space rather than just like a continuous sort of robot. So I just want to help make this video to say take the pressure off yourself. You are a spiritual being having a human temporary three-dimensional experience here. Nobody can take away your spirituality, the deepest essence of yourself but you can cover up your essence with a whole lot of like false beliefs, negative thinking, untrue thoughts, fear, like just, you know, over the top, out of balance, unhealthy fear and, and anger and they can serve a purpose, but when it's out of balance and over the top and unhealthy and negative and, you know, we get cancer every day, it's a normal thing, but our healthy and natural immune system naturally takes care of it easily, it doesn't spread wild. But if we let it go out of balance, everything's all about balance and shades of grey, as I say, wisdom is in the shades of grey, not in the black and white. So you can't just say, like, this diet or this thing is, like, this this thing is bad for you or this thing is really good for you or watching television is bad for you, some people say. But the thing is, it's all about the context, the person. For me, television isn't bad for me at all. I, I watch it occasionally when I visit my mums and... That's the balance that it's in. I only watch what I, what I like and what brings me joy and happiness and contentment. I and it's only within this certain quantity. I usually mute the ads, or if the ads are on because someone else is listening, I don't even bother paying attention. You know, I'm. But television can brainwash you with false and limiting beliefs about yourself, about life, about other people, about human relationships, about what's possible and not possible. So you don't have to, ha like re what I want to say in this video also is you don't have to reject things, you don't have to renounce everything or anything in particular, you don't have to renounce like sex or intimacy or sexual relations or women or men, you don't have to call that bad and shun it to be spiritual, although some people do because it's just one little less distraction, but you don't necessarily need to essentially overall in the bigger truer scheme of things because what you can do is live a spiritual life and bring you your truth and your spiritual essence into everything and anything so if you 
you, you don't, so you're easily, you're not easily programmed. You're easily remain yourself. Some people call this self um, autonomy, which is self government. You're not like a slave or a robot to the people who are telling you what to do. And then there's also the word um, equanimity, which is you remain reasonably stable no matter what the changing event is on the outside. So that's about awareness and consciousness, bringing in your own awareness and consciousness to the situation instead of being taken over by the energy around you. Your energy is sort of stronger or let's say developed enough in your heart and in your true essence of clarity that you can live and survive and thrive in many 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 situations instead of the situation totally overwhelming you and getting the better of you in in, in, a, in a sort of a not nice not good way so so that's all I wanted to say I hope this video brings you freedom like it's brought me freedom in my own life you don't have to do stuff but if you do like things go ahead and do them and do them in the proportions places ways and methods etc that work for you and not to be judging others for what works for them and so that's all I want to say and I hope this helped you and send you love and light and blessings from here in Ireland and stay lovely and blessed and beautiful that you are. I'll see you again in another video. Take care.